Hey, 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 people, it's your boy, Mog. And we're back with another episode of Pokemon Clover. But, here's the thing. As you may see from my save time, we did a lot of fast-forwarding again. <laughs> we actually, uh... Well, actually, I'll save, because I'm not sure. But we actually got a lot of uh, Pokemon going. I went and did a bunch of evolutions. And I did some wonder training to get the nut jobber back, and uh, I got some other stuff that I don't think I'm supposed to have at this point in time of the game, even though we're so late in it. So let's go, let's go through. Let's go through and see what we got. But, oh wait, yeah, we caught that last episode. Alright, here we go. We already had the, out, the house in because we caught that. Here's the apartment. Apartment. The apartment Pokemon. Its larger size allows it to carry more militant. Instead of hunting its prey, it lets the militant hunt for it. Okay. Uh, da 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 da. Ah, yes. We evolved our Lankong. Balenki, the expand Pokemon. He could inflate himself just like a balloon. This crazy Kong just digs his tune. Hey, DK. Lord He Pokemon. He could stretch your tiny hole with his giant feature length orangutan dong. Was that in the original song? I don't think it was. I don't think that was in the original song. <laughs> okay. Um, that was good. That was good. Uh, let's see. Let's see. What do we got? Oh, right. We evolved our beta clock into a Thundercock. The Chad Pokemon. It amplifies its war cry with electricity. It likes rubbing its achievements in every beta cluck's face. Total Chad move. No. Then again, a, a, a Chad wouldn't really give a shit what a beta thought. So, uh, maybe that's not really... I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's not really Chad. I don't think the Bulbapedo actually evolved, so I didn't actually do anything with that. Ah, K-Couple. K-Couple evolves into Fonduple, which is the bad cake Pokemon. It'll aggressively cut anyone who looks at it funny. Its cake is haunted by the ghost of an expired cupcake. Uh-oh. Yeah, it looks angry now. Oh yeah, I can't zoom her. I never, I never, I never caught that one. Let's see. Uh, da. I feel like... Hmm... Charizard? No, that's the... Okay, that's that thing. Chazetta, Chompers, Chromox, Clawcat... Ah, yes. One of our wonder trades got us the water starter. We got the Ejacism, the sheath Pokemon. It preys on po poisonous Pokemon so it could build up its toxins. Its slimy body lets it slip into cracks with ease. Hose Jack, the rubber Pokemon. Hose and Jack twist themselves to stir up the toxins in their bodies. It's always seen with a grin for some reason. And Condoom, the Contracept Pokemon. I just realized on the inside that sperm, isn't it? Where that light blue is. I just realized that. Oh my god, I'm dumb. <laughs> Condoom's toxins are acidic enough to melt diamonds. Its skin is very resilient and doesn't tear easily. So yeah, we got we got all three of those. Uh, let's see, let's see who's next. Ah oh, yeah, we got a random mix. This is a fossil Pokemon, I'm pretty sure. I don't know when I was supposed to get the fossil, but random mix, the Twitch Pokemon. Random mix exhibits strange, incoherent movements, as if it is being controlled by an outside force. And Cthulhu Lord, the Dark Lord Pokemon. Cthulhu Lord sleeps deep beneath the sea. Cults that worship it as a god try to revive it with dark magic. Basically Cthulhu, right? Oh, my freaking eyes again. Oh, here we are. These nuts! Which I'm pretty sure we already... We already had, right? Nut Jobber is always screaming, No! Nuts, Pokemon. Now we got... You got you, Pokemon! Discovered by Dr. Rub, these nuts are endowed with a huge voice. It reached enlightenment by pranking. 
<laughs> it's a Super Saiyan, is what it is. I wonder if I could learn Hyper Beam. I'm sorry, the one time I'm wearing a shirt, and now, now I'm like, oh, shit. The one time I'm wearing a shirt on one of these things, and all I'm doing is, like, wiping my eye because it's, it's like, leaking. Well, not leaking, but watering up. Let's see. Oh, yes. We did the Pataian line. Just as a refresher, Pataian, the Pataia Pokemon. Fed up with being preyed on by people, Pataian became aggressive and attacked en masse. Dragaia, also a Pataia Pokemon. It could detect movement from far away by using the leaf on its head, preparing for battle if it senses danger. And finally, Frutigon, also a Pataia Pokemon. Its claws can cut through anything. Legends state that a Frutigon once slayed 665 Indian elephants with one slash. God damn, that's a lot. <laughs> That'd be a bad, pretty badass with a, in like a Dynasty Warriors game, right? Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, I know I had more. Ah yes, Pfefferun. Pfefferun, the scorpion Pokemon. Pfefferun no loved nothing more than the angry cries of Peppery. They roast Reptro with its tail and eat them. I don't get the relationship between Pfefferon and Peppery. I mean, it doesn't really... I don't know. I don't remember that meme. And we got this whole line here, the Fire She, Fire sh Shit We, and Fire Shitter. Fire She, the pr flame Pokemon. Its body is made of burning shit. It consumes garbage to keep its burning mass from extinguishing. I wasn't expecting that. Fire Shit We, the duo fire Pokemon. Fire She split in two and it's too fat to sustain itself. They love raiding trash cans to satisfy their hunger. And Fire Shitter, the hot shit Pokemon. Fire Shitter gets bigger the hotter it burns. It creates more Fire She by splitting apart. Yeah, Fire Shit Twi, Fire Shit Trey. Yeah. Weird. Uh, oh, right. We got a Waggle, the jerk Pokemon. Despite being jerk, despite them being jerks, everyone loves them. Only those that have hairy arms attract the ladies. That's weird. That's so weird. Okay. Uh, I think we- No, we already evolved a dead Wii, right? Yeah, we already evolved that one. Before, we already saw that entry. Oh, Fuermiga! Turns into Mary Pyro, the cheese bug Pokemon. Mary Pyro travel the world looking for a mate to start a hive. One Mazamazel could provide food for its hive for weeks. Christ, that's... Ooh. Implying they eat pizza girls. That's sad. Oh! This is the Nor the South Korean Pokemon that we got. Gangnam! <laughs> Gangnam copies the style of Pokemon such as Petzli and Gamster. Giant microphones amplify its sound moves. If I knew, if I knew Gangnam was going to be Gangnam style, if I knew this Pokemon was in this, I might have actually taken Gangnam, I might have actually wanted to get this guy. I love Gang Gangnam style, I know it's an old meme, but, you know, I'm a boomer, so it's nostalgic for me, shut up. Oh yeah, we got the Gynuke. The Nuke Cooch Pokemon. Jainuk loves drinking soda and sharing it with Quibboob. Depriving it of its precious soda sends it on a rampage. I know that feel. I am so sick of water right now. I'm so sick of it. <laughs> I just want some, like, iced tea or something. I don't even want soda. I want iced tea. But, uh... Anyways, yeah. Oh, yeah, Huntaber. Huntaber, the saber-toothed Pokemon. In its day, it was the Apex Predator. Credited with wiping out 75% of all Toxoraptor, this gave them all cancer. And that's how they all died. Uh, do, 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 do. 
Who's next? I know I know where there's a couple more. I feel like there's a couple more. <clears throat> da, da, da. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What? No, not here. Wait. Oh, I never got a monster app. Oh, whoops. I should probably I should probably work on that. I should probably go catch a tooler somewhere and get a monster app. I, di I didn't realize I was missing that. I'll save that for after this video though. Uh da 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 da. Oberonix though is like one of the other starters that I'm missing. I don't know where to get an Orion. Oh right. We got a Veristol. The light bulb Pokemon. Veristol live deep in caves where they hunt for bioluminescent prey to recharge the glow of its of its crystal body. Yep. Oh, and we got the Sadrog line. Sadrog, the field Pokemon. Sadrog's constant state of depression was proven to be linked to its atrocious attempts at courting a mate. I know that feel. Smugrock, also the field Pokemon. After making its first gains, Smugrock gains a sense of superiority over its contemporaries. Finally, Peppery, the Rage Pokemon. A reclusive species, Peppery are no f known for their childish and primitive behavior when they don't get what they want. So, pretty much a child all around. Wait, how do I not have a Fantash? I thought I caught one. Mm, I, gu I guess I could always evolve the Ignut that I have. Even though I lose the flame body, I, I don't really see myself hatching a lot of eggs from now on. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think I think that's it. Let's just keep going through just in case, but I think that's I think that's everything. I think we got everything. Uh, da, 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 da. Thundercock we already covered. Da, da, da. Understand? Understand? Okay, yeah, I, th I think that's everything. If you guys caught something in this list that I missed, just leave a comment down below. Any of the ones that I caught. Although... Yeah, leave a comment down below anyways. Although it's gonna be a long time. Like, the, like right now it's May 11th. And I've already got videos up going all the way out to June, so... Uh, st still, though. Still. There's a pearl string buried under the signpost, but you'll never get it. Okay. Alright, so let's go find the scientist that's supposedly here in the blacksmith manor. But where, though? Is there anything in the blacksmith manor that I'm missing? Let me just check that real quick. Hmm. Because I don't think there is, but... No, I could safely use a repel. Is he in the basement or is he on the higher floors? Maybe I'll check the basement first because I'm already here. I'm already here on the first floor, so I might as well check the basement. Where did we find? Did we find the Nazis in the basement or did we? I don't remember. Yeah, because we had, we had to go down and find the Nazis first.
Yeah, it was some sort of... Okay. Alright, pass it. Where are the stairs downstairs? Hmm. Oh, wait, I think the switch for that is up here, right? Ah, it's been a minute. I don't remember all the gimmicks. Oh, is the way forward clear now? Okay. The scientist is probably down there somewhere. We got a dozen DDT. I forgot that guy was there. Alright. Now I got a ton of DDT. I know it's illegal, but who cares? <laughs> Typical Pokemon trait. Oh, wait, is this him? This old man is certainly interesting. Apparently there were a bunch of illegal experiments going on here way back in the day. No, I vaguely remember talking to that guy. Besides, if it was the actual scientist, wouldn't... Wouldn't it have, like, an event to go along with it? All right, let's go up here. Scientists gotta be around here somewhere. I'll save just in case. Cause I don't know what the scientists are gonna be hiding here. It's probably a good thing there's no auto use for the repels, otherwise I'd uh, <laughs> probably go through my whole stage pretty quick. Oh, there's a scientist up there. That might be him. Wait, what's... Yeah, I think I already cleaned out this place. He could paint an entire apartment in one afternoon. Two coats. That's not the guy. Alright, there's a hole there now? Was there a hole there before? Oh, that, that's probably how I exited. Alright, let's get out of here. Uh... I don't think I've been here. Where the fuck are we? Yeah, there's treasure here. Is the scientist down here? One calcium, okay. It's a memo. They forced one of my co-worker buddies out of our secret lab here on Outcast. Seems the higher-ups of our secret Neo-Reich Weren't too pleased with the, uh, annoying bioweapons he had a hand in genetically engineering. He got transferred over to the hidden backup lab near Polony. Not sure what they're doing over there, but the higher-ups told the rest of us still around to figure out something to do. We have all this creative freedom of research we never had before. Either way, I might as well write this down just in case another event like with the motherfuck and ho fuck no happens. Okay. There's treasure there. 
It's a memo. Two weeks in. All the others have are two hard projects and multiple failed concepts. Meanwhile, my buddy over at Polony to told me some interesting news. They picked up an encrypted radio broadcast from an offshore military vessel somewhere around Silver Point on Get Island. Seems the ship and crew fell prey to a confirmed legendary Pokemon called Narwiz. Intel suggests Narwiz came from space, spooks random sailors in their dreams, and also converts radioactive waste byproducts into the Pokemon Blobos. What? Something worth exploiting? So Blobos are radioactive waste? And they're talking about legendaries. Let's get no 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 out front. So she can paralyze. The stairs that lead down. Okay, we let's check out the rest. They said Norwiz is off Silver Point at Get Island. Hmm. So all right, so we have a potential lead on a legendary. One lab key. Is that how we get upstairs, maybe? Because the, the, I, now that I'm back here, I kind of remember there was some reason we couldn't get upstairs, but I don't remember what it was. A key obtained in the secret lab under Outcast Island. Alright, maybe not. Maybe it's for something else. Or maybe it's for something down here. We should check... Hmm. Yeah, we should check the top of this place, too. Because I remember we weren't able to get to the top for some reason. I don't remember why, though. Bingo, the lab key opened the door. We've created the ultimate artificial Pokemon. Damn whatever those fools at Kanto claim. Even with this result, which put, puts those weeaboo hicks to shame, it's still faulty. The thing outright refuses to devour Blobos or any living Pokemon, choosing to only inefficiently consume deceased life. It isn't even consuming toxic waste, even though it can process it easily. It is imperative that Neat Turpin take the life force of living Pokemon for maximum combat potential. If its newfound empathy will impede it from doing the task I command it to, then we have no choice but to force its misgiving away. The upper lab personnel is starting to suspect something is going on. Even my fellow researchers give me concerned looks as I walk by them, gazes of fear and apprehension. My own team question my motives, my loyalties, my very sanity. Idiots, the lot of them. Our efforts will further our Reich's glory and influence to new heights. Neat Night Turpin. The fuck is that? Detailed designs document for something. Night Turpin. Codename, Project Blitz, Blitz Slong. Blitz Slonger. BS. Artificial legendary Pokemon created by... Features. Electric type weapon systems, primarily water type denial and suppression. Fire type defense systems and steel type offensive move. Capability, primarily anti-fairy. Measures. Turbo Blaze system for suppressing enemy abilities. Bio-integrated Blobos reactive for self-sustain and potential other biohazard countermeasure. Organic metallic conversion capability for further anti-fairy resources and utility. A highly advanced intelligent AI operating system complete with understanding of human speech. Audio processing systems including radio wave command interpreter for assuming direct control. Statistics, legendary tier physical and special prowess, above average speed, subpar resilience. A notable re weakness to seismic, mineral, and aqueous forms of attack. So basically, our paralyzed might not work. Toxic definitely isn't going to work. And he could actually successfully attack uh, Jesus. Great. He's dead. They're all dead. The legendary Pokemon found out about the Blobos energy tech. One of the guys must have leaked the info in their dreams. The Polony team is gone. Their base collapsed into all that water and rock. 
They auto transmitted all that data over to us, though, including the Norwares data and the Blobos Energy Project. I have no choice. I have to get my artificial legendary done before that thing senses us out and we end up just like the others. Blobo. Wow. Okay. These guys are pretty fucked up, huh? One magnet ball. At least that, that there's that. It should if it's a steel type, the magnet ball should work. We got a number of those. Damn it! It's rusted all to hell. What are you doing here? I told you not to follow me. This area is too dangerous, especially for youngsters. I, I don't have any Pokemon, so I can't even forcibly remove you, uh, even if I wanted to. Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. There's nowhere to go from here. The path, the path is blocked by collapsed rock. So look, if you're gonna continue playing down here, whatever it is you're doing, be careful. Okay, great. I don't want to be responsible for what might happen to you. Well, goodbye. Collapsed rock, huh? Okay. Man, this place looks like shit. One iron, okay. What the hell happened down there? Oh, there's a... Uh, stairs down. Okay. No, wait. Let's see what we can find. Ah, oh, okay. That you had to go up from downstairs to get that. Another stairs. One metal coat. Okay. I don't know. Should we just head downstairs? It seems like there's a number of flights. Oh, this leads to... Yes. One ability pill. Okay. That's something, right? I don't know if we'll need it, but that's something. Yikes. Looks like toxic waste. Yeah, we definitely can't go there. I, I'm guessing my uh, puffy grim can't can't exactly <laughs> deal with that shit, huh? Dun, dun, dun. One upgrade. It's all stuff that I don't really need. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know why I'm trying to grab it all. Oh, you never know, I guess. You never know. Ah, oh, see, see, I almost, I almost left that behind. All right. <clears throat> There's some crazy horror shit going on there. Yeah, it looks like that just leads to another vent. Uh. No. No. Okay, that looks like it leads somewhere different. That's so annoying, but somehow less annoying than random battles. One Wackenberry. Oh, shit, I didn't even realize at the time. Ah, that's right. 
We'll make this a little bit longer of an episode, especially because I did that big Pokedex recap at the beginning. The paper's almost illegible, but you make out the words by squinting hard enough. It's all over. Our attempts to forcibly break N Night Turpin's empathy away caused the beast to break loose and torch the entire lab. Nothing remains. All anyone can do now is seal this cursed place up and wait for the collapse procedures to kick in, silently burying the lower labs in rock and ocean. The leaders can quell the questioning and snooping, as they've usually done, but no one must know of what has transpired here. I cannot face the Reich with the shame I now bear, but I also refuse to be buried alive like this. As the cyanide, I've ta cyanide pill I've taken kicks in while I write this, I am left to ponder. How could a mechanical beast designed only for war have more heart than a man born of flesh and blood? That's sad. But, hey. That, uh, that just tells you who the real monster is. It's us. Unquestionably, humanity is the biggest monster on the planet. I hear something. Alright, there we go. We're gonna capture this bitch. One way or the other. Hissa! Wow, wild night turpin appeared. Level 100? Oh, thunder. Oh, fuck me. He's. Hi, hi. Hi, hi. This is not good. This is not good at all. He's gonna demolish me. Yeah, he's gonna fucking demolish me. I'm not even gonna get a chance. I'm not even gonna get get a chance to fucking I'm not even gonna get a chance to catch his ass. me. Let's hope that this, uh, spook guy doesn't do as much as we hope. God damn it. It's a good thing we saved. <laughs> oh, shit. Ah, shit. Okay. Well. No way, wrong thing. Wrong thing. Wake up, cure poison, heal a burn, defrosting. Store. No. There we are. Alright, save state. All right, let's try again. Let's go. Hopefully this this berry is enough to get the thunder wave off. Shit. 
Can't paralyze it. It's a steel type too, so it, I think it's going to be immune to uh, toxic as well, which I am not thrilled about. Oh, yeah. Alright. We got no choice but to keep trying. Sorry, Macho Man. We're gonna use this bard ball. I maybe should have bought more magnet balls, huh? Do we think we could? Do we think we could? I don't know. Let's try it. I mean, it's in the red. If we don't do something, he's gonna kill us all. And we can't. I think it's a steel electric type. It's gotta be. Right? I'm pretty sure it's a steel electric. Steel? Oh no. Night turf. Wait, it's electric fire. So you're saying. Takes one fourth from steel. Okay, so this one should actually work too. Let's try the bard ball. I think that's gonna kill it, but. Nope, okay. Grass and fire. Steel and electric. Alright. The problem is... The problem is this. Even if I can get Jesus out... That flamethrower is going to kill him. I think we got to consider this attempt done. Hell, even if I were to t even if I were to hit him with the toxic at this stage in the game. had that this whole time, huh? He had that this whole time. Alright, let's see what we can do about this. I didn't know he was gonna... I didn't know he was gonna have this. This healing item. I 
don't know, hopefully it doesn't one-shot, but we'll see. Okay. This is gonna, this is gonna suck. Because look at this morning sun bullshit that he can do. It's already h tough enough to capture these fucking guys. Right? But now this one can heal? I don't know. I don't think it's gonna work, but... No. I, I, I kind of had a feeling. I don't know, uh... It's probably gonna use Morning Sun. No, nope, never mind. Hopefully the poison doesn't kill it. Please don't kill it, poison. Please don't kill it. Okay. This is bullshit. <laughs> this is... Oh, total bullshit. Okay. We'll give her back her cube bow. We probably need, like, some sort of disabler. What the hell is the cute bow? Is it at the bottom? Yeah, it is. Okay. And... Yeah, take that. Alright. Let's try it again. I think this is... Yeah, because we also have a regular save. This won't kill him. Yup, god damn it. Ugh. Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting he's got to recover. Now, I know they do, like, a fourth damage with the flash cannon, so let's... Hopefully it doesn't do a whole lot. Dungeon is pretty nuts. Okay. Let's try it. If it doesn't do morning sun, it's gonna die. God damn it. Are you kidding me right now? Can Ice Punch induce frozen? Uh, hold on, hold on. Pokemon. 
Ice punch. Rose. Let's see. Uh, effect. Does damage that has a 10% chance of freezing the target. Hmm. I mean, we could try it. I'm gonna try that. He can't resist. He can't resist. We might have to do a whole new episode for this guy because this guy's gonna be a tough nut to crack. heal up so I can ice punch you. Could you please? Could you please use your morning sun so I can ice punch you and try to... What is he doing? Does he want to die? Whatever. I guess. Fucking figures, come on. Uh, we'll just throw balls at him until he fucking heals over. I don't even care. Let's <laughs> just throw balls at him. It's gotta work eventually. So much for the times for a capture rate. We we'll use a bird ball. Kind of accelerate the process a little bit here. This guy sucks. We're gonna try and present a good target so that, like, he doesn't use the morning sun. And hopefully, next turn, he'll be very low HP. Okay. We're gonna say stay there. Honestly, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how it's gonna go. Let's. This seems like the most advantageous position I could be in. But I don't know how it's gonna work out like maybe I should save the state there maybe if I use a different ball that'll influence it oh yeah dus dusk ball too right I think it's got, it may just have like an anti-RNG sort of thing. Yeah.
Yeah, because look, no matter what I do... No matter what I do, I don't think I don't think the result's gonna change. It's already seated. <laughs> so then if it's already if the result's already seated. Alright, I guess, uh, we're gonna do the same thing we did with Demi Waifu. Oh, wait, no. I don't, I'm not sure we can. Because if it's... Hmm. Yeah, it, it's seated. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Maybe if I send out Sterner... The... That'll change the RNG. Let's see. Okay. That might do it. But that might do it. At, at the very least, it doesn't seem like it's set to automatically break out that time. At least, not immediately. Ugh. I'm in a bad situation. Because look at this. This is ridiculous. Let's try the Master Ball. Oh, wait, 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 wait a second. That was a different result. Okay, now we're seeing a Now we're seeing some different results here. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Kind of? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I'm going to be able to catch this thing. <sighs> Come on. Alright, so... It doesn't lock him in on the selection screen there. At least I don't think so. Oh. Yes. Night Turpin, the experiment Pokemon. A haywire machine created for war. It acts, acts oddly at times, as if receiving far-off signals. Yeah. Oh, uh, that sucked. I am a sk save scumming piece of shit, but you know what? <laughs> Fuck doing that! I've told y'all how I feel about catching legendaries, right? 
Okay. I guess that's the end of that episode. Sorry it took so long. <laughs> Uh, next episode, I guess we'll head to the top of Blacksmith Manor and see what's going on up there. I thought the scientist would be at the top, but I was wrong. But since we're here, maybe we can get to the top now that we've beaten the Pokemon League. Alright, let's get going. And y'all have a good day, and peace out. Bye-bye. <laughs>